Well, it's a, it's a very interesting ruling and one that a lot of people using Bitcoin have been waiting for for at least a year now. Uh, keep in mind the popularity of Bitcoin usage has grown so much. In the second half of 2013, for example, it went from about 1,700 uh, Bitcoins per hour in transactions to 3,000 Bitcoins per hour in transactions. At the same time, the market value of all Bitcoins out there went from about a billion dollars in July 2013 to about $12 billion in December. 2013. So, of course, there's been a little bit of a drop in Bitcoin since December of 2013, but still important for people to understand how to treat uh, this asset for tax purposes. Now, what the IRS is saying is that you'll uh, be able to claim it as uh, in the case that you bought it for much less than what it's worth now, which is pretty much the case for everyone who's bought it within uh, or, or before about six months ago. You'll be able to treat it with capital gains tax rules. Now, that means that if you hold it for over a a year uh, that the highest rate that will be taxed on uh, your Bitcoin holdings will be about 24%. Uh, if you hold it for less than a year, your highest rate will be about 44%. The interesting thing is you will also be able to take capital losses on that, which is key for people who bought Bitcoin near the end of 2013 as it ra ramped up to a peak of about $1,200. It's currently trading for uh, less than $600, depending on uh, uh, where you look to try and do a Bitcoin yeah. transaction now. But uh, it's very interesting stuff, and it also lays out the rules, which I've always wondered about for Bitcoin miners. Anyone who mines Bitcoin will have to pay taxes on the Bitcoin they mine at the value the moment they mine it uh, as regular income. And then, of course, any uh, uh, growth in those assets will be taxed at capital gains. But Matt, again, not currency, but property. As a, as a property, uh, not a currency, which is much better, really, uh, for uh, people who are trading in Bitcoin because they'll be able to use the lower capital gains tax rate uh, than they would have to do if they tax it as regular income. So right. this doesn't, of course, mean uh, that Bitcoin isn't a currency or that it is a currency. You know, I talked with the Undersecretary uh, of Financial Intelligence for the U.S. Treasury uh, last Last week, and he said, We don't consider the virtual currency a currency. Now, <laughs> Take what that, take from that what you will. But of course, yeah. you can still use Bitcoin to buy milk and bacon, uh, but <laughs> they consider it an asset.